the air pressure and the gas from the water generates energy. It then produces fire. Let's see if we can. While flying the helicopter, we crash landed on someone's house in Gombe. It was a big milestone for me. I have achieved a lot in assembling electronic gadgets. I was not a radio technician. I used to be a Vespa mechanic in 1971. After a year, I became an expert in Gombe. I assembled a two-seater helicopter using a Vespa engine. While flying the helicopter, we crash landed on someone's house in Gombe. It was a big milestone for me. I switched to radio repairs. I then established a radio station in Gombe. The radio signal covered 45 kilometers range. I had 33 employees. I shut down the radio station in 1986. In 1990, I relocated to Kano State. I opened a workshop where I trained youth and I was the first to establish a private radio station in Kano. In Gombe, my radio was known as Hardy Radio Station, Gombe. And in Kano, it was known as Hardy Radio Station, Fage, Kano. That's the name of my station. Nam Tobaga one and tear what a nuns and I'll eat a kaida kuma good man suka tema kawajin kwaas. I can't remember the number of youth I trained on radio and TV repair. Students did pay to learn from me. Some were brought to my workshop. I taught them for free. The reasons why I closed my radio station was personal. I was never stopped by any authority but I have never received any support. I shut down the radio station due to high cost of operation. I used my hard-earned money to pay salaries and buy cassettes to record programs before broadcast to avoid low violations. I couldn't afford the running cost so I closed the Gombe radio station in 1986. And in Kano, the radio was in my workshop. Therefore, I made a lot of advertisements. I received a lot of work from people to the point that I couldn't handle the work. That was why I shut down the radio station and continued with the workshop. As you can see, we are now at the residence of Malam Hadi Usman, a renowned radio technician in Gombe State. We are here to witness how he assembled a stove that runs on water. This is water. He uses it to generate fire. This is water. He uses it to generate fire. I use this to pump air into this bottle. You will turn on this here, then turn on the fire. You can see that this technology uses water and air to produce fire. This water is in the cup. It is used to generate the fire. Once the air enters into this pipe, we will trigger pressure. This pump is used to pump the air. The air pressure and the gas from the water generates energy. It then produces fire. Let's see if we can boil some water.
I have been thinking of how we can put water into a bottle and use the pressure from the water to generate fire. You will wonder how can water produce fire, but water contains fire and vice versa. Thunderstorm, clouds and rains contain electric elements. I was conducting a research to discover how I will extract fire from that electricity. That's why I put water inside this bottle and inside this pipe. Wanda zama shine kamar muluhu ndazee 